Hello, I'm Hank Hine, director of the Dali Museum. Welcome to our exhibition, Midnight in Paris, Surrealism at the Crossroads, 1929. This exhibition was created in collaboration with the Centre Pompidou in Paris. You will discover the work, friendship, and clashes of over 20 artists of the era, ranging from the painters Salvador Dali and René Magritte to sculptors Hans Arp and Alexander Calder, and filmmakers Germaine Delac and Louise Bunuel. I invite you to discover for yourself the provocative world of Midnight in Paris, narrated by the actor Eugénie Bondurant. André Breton founded Surrealism in 1924. By 1929, things were in flux. New groups like the Belgian Surrealists were expanding the topics associated with Surrealism, and the Paris group was at odds with itself. Dali's arrival propels the Surrealist movement in new directions, giving birth to a second golden age of Surrealism. For the Surrealists, Paris was a living entity that echoed their unconscious. They were fascinated by the haunted aspects of their city, places that seemed lost in time. In Midnight in Paris, which is a short film the Dali produced, André Breton, the Pope of Surrealism as he was known, has called for a meeting with Dali. But instead of Dali, he is met by Gala, Dali's partner and future wife. From that moment, there unfolds a debate about the nature and the needs of art and artists. The artist should not make money from his work. You should not profit from a vision you did nothing to create. If I plant the seed, if I nurture the vine, if I pick the fruit, shall I not enjoy the wine when it is in my glass? A major theme in surrealist film is the connection between dreams and desire. This exhibition presents clips from a variety of films where these themes appear. Nineteen twenty nine was one of those times, and the artists we presented here knew they were changing the world. The large scale forces of history were about to engulf them, another war and upheaval. But the changes made to art by this group, by their dreams, by photography and film, would change forever the way we see and respond to the world.